Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude here with a fossil hunting tutorial. Now, I get this question a lot when I'm doing presentations and fossil displays, is how do you find fossils and uh, what tools do you use? Now, there's actually a variety of different things you could use depending on your location. Um, right now, we're in uh, Princeton, British Columbia, so the fossils here are uh, shale, uh, you can see the ridge right along there. It's a uh, thin rock that's flat, and you can uh, split it open like uh, pages in a book, basically. And uh, I'll be going through different, uh, the different fossil tools that are used while I uh, go hunting in this area, as well as the tactics and whatnot. So um, I'll start off with safety. The best thing you could bring fossil hunting in places like these are gloves. Well, work gloves work fine. Whoop. I was attempting to throw them onto camera. There you go. So work gloves are some of the best gloves you can use in this location because they're thick and will prevent your hands uh, from being cut up by the shale. Uh, makes it easier climbing all these hillsides as, again, the shale is pretty sharp and you don't want your hands getting cut. You can also use um, leather gloves and plastic gloves, but these are some of the best examples. Also, safety goggles. Uh, whenever you're chipping rocks, there's a chance that they'll fly up at your eyes. It's happened to me a few times. Um, I wear glasses, which are somewhat protective, though they can easily be chipped by rocks. So it's good to have a pair of uh, safety goggles while fossil hunting in this area, or just fossil hunting in general. Now, um, for the fossil's sake, I suggest packing a lot of paper towel or toilet paper as uh, most fossils are fragile, especially if they're on shale, and you'll need that to wrap them up and make sure they're safe so they don't bump around in transport. Also, I suggest bringing a cloth bag, which you can easily use uh, by flinging over your shoulder or um, just carrying it along your side. And you can carry a lot of different fossils in that, from large rocks to uh, sheets of shale side by side. You can also use buckets, um, buckets and bins, which are also great. They're a little bit larger, and uh, if you get carried away, you can fill them up fast, and it becomes very heavy. So I say just, just bring them back um, in bags. Though if you have a, a home base or a camp, that you set up halfway on the slope you're hunting at. Buckets and uh, bins and containers are pretty good for that. Now, when it comes to actually splitting open the rock, the most common household tools you can use while fossil hunting are paint scrapers. Uh, those are particularly to be used when hunting in shale as you can just stick the paint scraper in between a seam. So let's just say this piece right here and you stick it in between and open it like a book. And that can be used to um, look through different layers easily, uh, rather than peeling it with your bare fingers or hitting it with a hammer. Um, now, if you're going to be more of an avid fossil hunter or collector, a lot of different shops sell these, like rock shops, and even, I believe, Home Depot or uh, Home Hardware, um, you can get sledgehammers which are great for breaking open large rocks and um, limestone. They're not the best for shale unless you're using a, um, a chisel, which I usually get my chisels with a uh, safety guard on them, so when I'm hitting it, it doesn't hit my hand. Uh, those are some of the best chisels if you're uh, starting off or um, have kids that want to get into fossil hunting. And picks are really good. Uh, this one's got a hammer tip and um, kind of pick back end. So you can use that to split open shale or chip away at it. And um, if you don't have those or can't afford those, you can also use a basic hammer and a, um, a flathead screwdriver. You can shove that into shale, then bang on the back of it. It's really great for fossil hunting um, if you're starting out as well. So that's some of the gear that are really great in this certain um, deposit and also for other locations. Um, here's my 
bin right there. And I guess a fossil uh, video won't be complete without actual fossils. So I'll show you some uh, cool goodies that I found while collecting at the site. We've got a uh, seed with a little wing on it. This is a march fly. We've got another march fly and a small seed uh, cluster right up there. We've got possibly a large blade of grass, or a stick, then a large leaf up here, and then here's another stick, or blade of grass. Now uh, these are all Eocene age fossils, they're about 50 million years old, uh, after the dinosaurs went extinct, and there's mostly insects and plant fossils at this site. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, fossil hunting tutorial, I didn't really show you how to fossil hunt but just the different tools and uh, equipment you need or possibly would like to have while collecting fossils. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.